Hello, I'm Crystal. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to talk about how does the goddess become a doormat? Before he adored you, he called you every day. He responded immediately to your text messages. He called you on Monday to organize the date for Friday. He was in love. Now he's calling you on Friday to organize the date for later that evening. You send a text message. He responds after three or four hours. Sometimes he doesn't even respond at all. He's not organizing special romantic evenings together. What happened? He's not in love anymore. He's lost interest. But you know what? That's not your problem. You do not stay in a relationship with someone who doesn't make you happy who doesn't adore you, who doesn't think that you're special because you are, you are special. So don't waste our time with that toxic man or woman in a relationship. We deserve better. And you know what? Someone out there is waiting for us to treat us special. Yes, I guarantee it. There is a new partner out there waiting for us to treat us better, to treat us special, so we can have that beautiful relationship that we deserve. Never lower your standards. Keep your standards high. You are a person of value. Don't let anyone ever forget that. But you know what a lot of men tell me? <laughs> Not very nice men, I have to admit. They treat women the way they think they deserve to be treated. So if they have a woman and they think they can ask her out for just a pizza, that's what they do. They ask her out just for a pizza or a hamburger at the local hamburger joint. But if they think she's special, they'll take her to that new, you know, exotic restaurant that they heard about. So keep your standards high. Don't ever lower your standards. Hello, I don't care if it's two months, two years, or 10 years. If you're unhappy in your relationship, you talk to your partner, you discuss it with them. You let them know what's making you sad, what's bringing you down, what's not working anymore in the relationship. And after this discussion, if nothing has changed, then you get out because there's someone waiting for you. You become single again. Yes. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. It's going to be hard the first few days or weeks, but you know what? You're going to feel self-assured. You're going to get your confidence back and you're going to feel much better, 10 times better than before in the toxic relationship while you were waiting for the phone to ring, waiting for him to ask you out, waiting for your partner to make you feel good. You're going to make your own self feel good by going back out in the single world by telling the universe and all your friends you're single. You're going to start dating again. Maybe one of your friends will organize a blind date. You know how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry met on a blind date. They told their friends, I'm looking for someone. Can you hook me up? And <laughs> they got hooked up and we all know how that worked out. So let's not ever drop our standards. We want to be in a relationship with someone who makes us feel good, who's so, someone who adores us, who's someone who calls us, gives us attention. We send in a text message and they respond, not two hours or five hours or maybe never. They want to be with us and they show us they want to be with us. That's what we're looking for. So don't try to fix the relationship. You can't fix it. It's like the vase that's broken. You can put the glue on it and put it back together but it's still broken. And let's not hope people will change. Your partner is probably not going to change. If you already had a discussion with them, they're not going to get better. They're going to get worse because they see that you have been accepting this bad treatment. So since you've been accepting it, they're going to continue. You don't accept it. You don't accept any more bad treatment because you're worth it. And there's someone special waiting for you. Ciao for now. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know your comments and I'll see you soon.